DC Universe Online 13th anniversary. Can't believe the game has been around that long. It feels like it's been on longer at the same time. I've been playing this since the PlayStation 3 days. Man, this can make you feel old. I'm playing this as we speak on the PlayStation 5, which I just got not that long ago. I know I'm late to the game with that, but not everyone has millions. But anyways, I played this game... Uh, great, I forgot the year it came out. Well, duh, 13 years ago. But uh, PlayStation 3, and it was on beta. I was playing the beta version. And then pre-order the game, obviously, and then made a bunch of characters, and I was still willing to make more characters, but eventually there was a limit. And it looks like that limit is broken, that we can just, like, purchase more character slots and we can keep making more characters, which is fantastic, because there's a lot of people that are very creative and have a lot of big imaginations and stuff. A lot of people play the game for different reasons and everything but you should just play it the way you want create your own hero villain be creative not just a knockoff clone but i mean you know do as you will but i'm gonna create a new character i kind of had this idea for a while it's not gonna be like too too creative though because some people will just notice Wait a minute, isn't that, like, yeah, I know. But, you know, I just had this little motivation and idea, and I just want to see where this this will go. But I'll, I'll put a bit of a spin to it. It's going to be a, a small character, because most of my characters are, like, average size. I only have very few small characters, I think. I think I only have two. Yeah, I think I only have two small characters uh, basically, there's like uh, nine different body shapes, but three different sizes for characters. And uh, obviously male, female, but, you know, then again, whatever you identify, <laughs> you know, you just, there's a lot of skins you can get yourself. But the game is free. You know, a lot of people argue, no, it's not free. Well, I mean, if you're able to play it, that's technically free. If you want other stuff to go with it you pay for that well then you pay for that but the majority of the game is free and if you enjoy the game then you might as well be a member either pay for the stuff or just pay for the legendary membership i believe that's what's called and uh you just pay like either three months or once a year i think i believe it's been a while since i have the the subscription like I had it for a year, but then I, didn't, I had no funds, and uh, then I had to put it for a year. But anyways, I'm dragging on a bit. Let me just get to the part where I'm making a new character. And, you know, there's there's lore to it, but, you know, go with it as you will. My greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in long war against Superman. Cut scene. While his powers were drained from constant battle, sending him into space to recharge from the Earth's yellow sun, I struck. But my obsession had blinded me to the real threat, to Earth's true enemy. Hello. Wonder Woman. We saw a Green Arrow and Poison Ivy dead. I don't think a lot of people had missed that. Giganta. Lantern! Pick on someone your own son. Batman. Flash, Cyborg. Cyborg. Concentrate fire on Luthor while I call down some artillery. Lex Luthor, Suicides, and Deathstroke. Deathstroke, time to join the party. Come on, come on! We've 
got lots of murdering to do. <laughs> this cutscene's insane. Our good guys are losing! Barry's charging up for an attack. Lantern's charging up. Seriously, three powers colliding at the same time. Speed Force, Green Lantern powers, Shazam power. Yeah, a big explosion. Yeah, people died. Some survived. Uh, Deathstroke going in for the kill. But Wonder Woman's lasso of all things, too. Uh, Harley's dead. No more Deathstroke either. Cersei is out. Call him. Bring him to me. Eh, no time to finish recharging. Still is not doing good from that big explosion earlier. And now he's dead. You don't deserve to live. Diana. That crazy guy put kryptonite in her mouth because he knew he she he will pick her up. May not be suitable for all ages, just saying. Yeah, bad timing to kill the heroes, isn't it? Brainiac had returned. For years he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors, but we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived. A rat in the walls of the Brainiac construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it. What have you done, Luthor? Given you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. I've stolen Brainiac's exobites and released them into Earth's atmosphere. They hold the power stolen from the heroes and villains of my time and will bestow them on anyone they conquer. The Exobites will create a new breed of superhuman fight Brainiac's invasion. You must teach them to use their new abilities, for they must be on the front line in the coming battle, or my grim future will become your own. Yeah, 
so they made some changes with the character creation. Uh, the intro to the movie was pretty good. A lot of people remember that. And it, it's just really good. The sound sounds a bit buggy a little bit to me. I'm not sure if that's just me or maybe that's how it always sounded. Um, yeah, you can do a, a preset if you want to be like quick about it. Because like I said, I used to made a bunch of characters. Uh, the maximum was, I think, 30. I'm not sure. But they, they, you can like purchase uh, more character slots now. But I think for like new players, you have like a limit of four. Which I mean, you could just make a hero and then start the game as a villain too. So you can try both worlds. But you know, though they changed the the create a character, it's a bit different now. And they always had this kind of uh, thing before. But they also add for the new players. Um, Outfits you could only get in the character creation, I believe. Like this before, like the the Batman character that like they give you like inspired by, because you get me mentors, like three mentors for heroes, three for villains. For heroes, if you decide to say your powers are meta, then Superman's your mentor. If you're saying that your powers are technical like get technical gadgets or whatever then it's it's batman and if you're saying your powers are magical then wonder woman is your mentor and the opposite side with villains meta is lex luther tech is joker which i mean who's gonna really listen to joker but i mean hey it's crazy times and then for magic it'll be circes and i know not many people know who circes is unless you read comics but uh, she's a, a an evil goddess, so yeah, you know what you're getting. But um, you can either customize or you can just um, do a preset inspired by the character you would like to play as. So if you want to be exactly like Batman, then you start out looking similar to him. A Wonder Woman, magic. This gives you like an idea. Or you want to be like Superman. Or <laughs> the Joker. Something like that. Circe's. Lex Luthor. Harley Quinn. Yeah, that top. They never, they never had that top before. It was really neat looking. Poison Ivy. Martian Manhunter. Steel. Catwoman. You know, a lot of people are upset about, like, the weapon choices. Like, there's no whip. Like, it would be so fantastic if we had, like, a new weapon and it'll be like whips because we got different weapon choices for our characters but they said they couldn't do whips for technical reasons Mr. Freeze Bane Flash well the Flash Beast Boy Deathstroke, Terra. Yeah, some of these characters not everyone's gonna know unless they, like I said, read the comics or saw a TV show. Static. Oh, yeah, showing off the the shoes and pants and top and the hairstyle. They didn't had that before, so it's nice that they have more variety. But I wish like. You know, the, the, the players that have been playing this game, they can have access to these, um, uh, these, these looks that you can get in this customize. Because I try looking around, but I don't know, not unless I miss something, you can access them. Green Lantern. There's so many Green Lanterns, so we have more than one kind of human Green Lantern. Sinestro. 
Yellow Ooh. Lantern, for those that don't know. Atrocitus. He is a uh, Red Lantern. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, for those that may not know. Captain Adam. The Spectre. Firestorm. Mira. Aquaman's wife. So there's a lot of weapon choices, power choices, body choices. Customize. Uh, doing a mail. And like I was saying before, I'm gonna do like a small character. Let's see, athletics, spry, large. It's gonna be spry. Body height, is it medium, short, tall. I'm gonna do a very tiny guy. There'll be a hero, and there'll be hero. Comical, flirty. <laughs> yeah, your personality. It's just for looks, the personality. It doesn't have no real impact on the game or anything. It's just a, a, a preference. And what uh, emotes you'll have available. Primal. Serious. Powerful. Powerful is usually like a default for like most characters. But I think I'm gonna go with serious for the idea I kind of have. And if you don't like the choices like the personality type, weapon, power, um, you can literally change it later, except gender. So make sure if, if you're making a character, whatever your vision is, is the character yourself. Someone else you may know, you figure inspired by, or whatever the reason the character you're making, make sure it's the one you want. Because, I mean, you could just end up deleting them and just remake it again, but, you know, if you're getting far and you're attached to the character, make sure it's the way you want it. The gender, you, you, gotta, you gotta stick with one. But everything else, it can be changed. Okay, body build, spry. Body height, short, uh, hero, personality, serious, mentor. Uh, well, the character that I have in mind is going to be like um, something from the stars possessing uh, a doll. <laughs> it's like a doll. You're going to make a doll? Like, I can't do it from here, but there's a way I could do it from the end game, but it requires a skin. It's, it's just the idea of it, but, you know. Uh, mental. Oh, yeah, the powers. You can have gadgets and do, like, technology and stuff, obviously. Sorcery. It's, well, you know, it's in the name. Do the magic. So you can do, like, uh, casting spells, summon otherworldly entities, and uh, inflict damage over time. Mental. It's like, well, you're using your mind. You know, you can levitate things. You can go invisible. I know some people will like that. The visibility. You can inflict um, dizziness to others or terrify them. You can make them believe they're burning, make them believe they're cold, shock them. I mean, with gadgets too, you could uh, go invisible too, just in case you're into that stealthiness. You know, it's a, it's a lot of, to strategize and think about. Like nothing like too major or anything, but you just gotta play around with your abilities and. Whatever you have in mind for your character, you just, you know, play around with it. Nature. Nature is pretty fun, too. 
you can um, obviously use uh, plants as your shield or weaponize hold enemies have like uh, fly traps to, like like hold them and stuff or you can focus a different part of the powers because uh, the powers have like like branch trees well they used to but now they just put everything all in one because people were complaining oh but I'm missing this power I would like this because you had to have points to uh, spend on the powers but basically you can all do everything that power has to offer now but um there was plants or you can focus on like animal transformation like act, literally become a dog yeah that's right you can change yourself into a dog run around be stealthy yeah that's right nature can be stealthy too you choose the dog and you can hit like a button and you, like for some reason you're stealthy like you're a dog that's just super quiet or something and you can like bite and attack but you know it's like nothing like majorly focus on for fighting but you know if you want it's it's there then you can also be a werewolf so i know a lot of people like the werewolf thing and when you become the werewolf you got like super speed so if you're a speedster and then you pick nature then you're a werewolf you got like double the speed but i mean it, it doesn't stack or anything but if you want to like um because there's like movement abilities i'll get to that in a bit but yeah you could be a werewolf or um uh, all powers got a supercharge. Something really big happens, like a big attack or a big shield or a big healing for you and your allies. Uh, for nature, one of them has... Um, you could transform into a, a gorilla, a powerful tanky gorilla, and you just attack everything, go crazy, uh, do whatever nature powers you, you have load out on it. And also plants, uh, big field of plants for a supercharge attack. Um, you can also turn into like a, a flying dinosaur, I believe. I haven't used the transform part of nature for a while, so I don't really remember. Cause uh, the a nature character I have is for like like a plant guy, like he uses plants only. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things like like um, you you could just play around with your your character. If you're curious about abilities, you could just like. Make a character, try out the powers, delete the character, then just make another one, try out that power, whatever you like. Fire? Yeah, a lot of people has a thing for fire. You can just bombard people with fireballs or a heat beam or um, throw a fireball or just make a fire just explode out of thin air. <laughs> near someone or on your enemy a lot of things you could do with that, with that make a fire vortex to suck people towards you ice well goes right there in the name you can just make a wall of ice around you shields or impale enemies with ice um, have the area freezing and you can also, for a supercharge, turn into a giant ice golem, which is really neat. It's for a short time though, but you can do a lot of damage with that. Or grab the enemy's attention as a tank. And um, yeah, because there's different roles for the, the powers. Like um, everyone has damage role, and then there's an, a supportive role. There's um, tank for like taking up all the enemy's um, attention away from your allies. You don't do that much damage, but you can take a lot of punishment. For gadgets, it's um, something called controller. Controller is some, if just in case no one doesn't know what that means, it, it you just um, debuff other enemies, like lower their defense, stun them more, capture them a little longer give more energy for your other allies or bring up shields for everyone depending on what type of power like gadget can be a controller role sorcery would be healing like if you don't want to do the damage you can just be a healing sorcerer healing people over time also giving them shields mental its supportive role is control. You can give um, 
you know, lower defenses, shield them, give everyone extra power. Nature has healing. Fire has tank. Ice, also tank. And from there, these six powers are available for free with the game. So you got six powers you can choose from. Now I know if you are still here, you see that there's other powers. These you gotta pay to get. Munitions. Munitions was, I believe munitions was actually the last power we got that was into, added to the game. Like what the name says, like, um, you use all types of um, weapons, like bombs, guns, uh, rail guns, sniper, uh, rocket launcher, uh, some type of uh, shotgun, a little zappy ray gun, and also that power has a supportive role will be controller. And other paid power will be electricity. It's very popular too. The supportive role for this will be um, healing, which you can see there on the left. It, when you select uh, the powers, it tells you all that the roles damage, healing, and all that. And this one's quantum, has control role. Quantum is like, well, the like gravity, warping time, bending the laws of physics. There's a lot of stuff, and it has like, it, it, it's the only power that I would say that has um, teleporting in a way. Like I, I like that move. I wish you can kind of like hit the button and do it a little more quicker, but the cooldown goes down fairly fast. But yeah, that one. If you want like a teleporter, then this person, uh, this power could um, do that too. Earth using rocks other stuff also um, some of these powers you can have like little pets that have just appear um, ice had this little ice little amalgamation of little ice that just follows you for a short time uh, nature will have like a bunch of bugs following you like it looks like a bunch of flies um, for earth you can literally create little golems like just one golem Depending on your role, uh, the golems will just focus on attack or just try to tank other enemies for you. You can have like this female looking one or male one. Celestial. This kind of um, depends on uh, what side you pick. For heroes, you'd be more like of a light uh, celest celestial. If I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But anyway, the, the supported role is a uh, healer. Like you can see like the white yellowish heart part will be more leaning to heroes. And if you're a villain, you'll notice more of a darker color for it. But most of the attacks have a light and dark anyway, so you can do both of them. But for your standard attacks, you'll see the, you'll notice the influence from that. Like it could be considered like holy and unholy like the way the power is it kind of if you know who uh raven from teen titans is it kind of gives you an idea or dr fate light this too is a big standout for um hero and villain light is basically like well green lanterns or yellow lanterns if you're a hero you're always going to be a green lantern villains yellow lantern basically if you don't know what a Green Lantern is, or that you just have a power ring from space, and you can do almost anything you want with the power of the ring. At least that's how the comics and and uh, shows show that power. But obviously in the game, there's a certain limit to it. Like it's a shame they can't really go too too crazy with it, because you know a ring can do anything really, almost anything. But the supportive role will be controller. Rage. Rage can go for both sides. It's the same as the green and the yellow lantern rings, except the support role is tank. And there's a lot of combos into the power. You gotta time it. Like, if you hit a power, you're gonna have to tap another one or hold down a button. 
and other crazy things will happen. It's a lot. It has a lot of high risk, uh, big reward kind of thing. The Red Lantern Rage is basically the rage. You know, angrier you get, you know, mashing a lot of stuff. Um, water. You well, you know, you're using water. <laughs> Supported role, healing. It's fun. I, I kind of wish you kind of could like call like sea creatures and stuff because people were thinking that's what we're gonna do, but no. Apparently, Aquaman is the only one that can do that that we know of. But it's it's really fun to use the water stuff to make tidal waves appear out of nowhere and just washing away your foes or bringing them closer to you. You can make water construct sharks to fling at them out of nowhere. It's a lot of fun with that power. Atomic. It's like, well, radiation and stuff. And that one, obviously, tank. You can just, like, um, shoot beams. And um, you can do combos with this power as well. Celestial, you can do combos, too. I keep forgetting to mention. Same thing with the green and yellow lanterns. Oh, wait, also water has a combo, too. Like, some of the powers have combos with each other, but other ones they don't in... If anyone's like wondering what power is better than the others, it's just whatever you want, whatever you can make work for you. There's not like one power that's better above others, but a lot of people make that argument. But anyways, the character that I'm having in mind is going to use this. Celestial, the weapon. Okay, for weapons, you can be someone that's a brawler. You can just go in there sluggish punching. Or dual wheel... I mean, dual pistols, shooting guns. Or a bow, if you want to do that. Hand blast. Whatever ability you have will show the graphics on your hand, too. Martial Arts is a very popular one. I think it's the most popular one. Everyone likes to have martial arts and they go crazy. Being a ninja or like Batman or a Kryptonian that could use martial arts. Rifle. One-handed. It could be like an axe, a sword, or a little hammer, or even a bone club. You can actually like have different styles of your weapon the more you play the game and unlock more styles. Two-handed. It could be a giant hammer, giant sword, like I said, whatever you can find later on, you can change the style of your weapon. Dual wield. A staff. A shield. The shield is the only one that you have to pay to get. All these other weapons, you can play, you can get it right away as soon as you're playing the, the free, the game. But, I mean, that's for the, all the free players, but the shield, you gotta pay for that one. And that's the one I'm getting, too. Getting the shield. And the movement, like, how's your character moving around in the world? Are you acrobatic? Like, you run pretty, well fast and you can climb up walls and then from a distance you can grapple to them like um well like batman and robin would i uh, get to a building or so and then you can zip line up and you can glide you don't have to have wings or a cape to glide but it, the options there you can just glide at the movement speed and then one of the other most popular ones is flight there's a lot of flyers in this game. <laughs> and yeah, if you have like wings on your on your character, some of the wings actually move when you're in this mode. So it looks, you know, like you're using your wings. But other ones are just more like stiff, like they're just for looks. Also, there's jetpacks, so it will look more like you're using the actual jetpack. Super speed. I mean, <laughs> it just goes without saying. Super speed. It's fun using it, but it's a little tricky because you could go super faster, 
and you just like you lose control of where you go and then you, if you run into a horde of enemies forget it you're, you're dead so you, you gotta have patience to practice this but you can run up on walls jump really far depending on the where you jump from skimming you have like something under your feet and it's basically the same as flying it's just like a different style but the first three those are free for all players but the skimming is something you pay to get and since I'm already a member I already got that unlocked so I'm using that too so next appearance oh yeah color I was playing around with this uh, new version of the customize your character and I noticed there was a few things that didn't let you uh, customize but you can customize after you finish creating your character oh yeah skin tones like what you see here th this is not the limit of how you can um, do your skin this is more like a faster way for people to like get a skin that's similar to what they want and they can refine it when they're actually in the game and out of a create a character um, let's see how do I want this because I got an idea for the, the character I'm making it's gonna be like a like an action figure running around but possessed by like a, a star a few people that are fans of another certain game they will they will probably have an idea of what's the ins inspiration by this hair I haven't really decided if I'm was gonna keep the hair or not but if not I'll keep it short and red eyes uh... I think the eyes was going to be red too. I'll just go with that. I can always change it later. That it, it that's free to do anytime. Makeup. Uh, there's some option, but I'll just keep it the same as the character. Skin palette. Oh no, suit palette. Yeah, and, and for the longest time there was only like. Um, three choices of colors you can customize your outfit a lot of people want it more than that because they have so many ideas like they want a color for this a color for that but three is just not enough but eventually we got a fourth one but it's not here in the customize um, thing for some reason I don't know why uh, light yellow yellow yeah uh Let's see what was dark red, deep red. Doesn't really look like brown to me. Very dark. Dark cool. Black. Trying to put a dark brown. And for the fourth color, I'll have to put it when I'm in the game. Oh, I picked the color, but not the costume. <laughs> oh yeah, you can change the skin. Human, one. All right, uh, hit the R3 button, which is the right joystick. I'm doing this on the PlayStation 5, so now on PC. Oh, because the game is available on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. If just in case no one did new.
Choices. <laughs> Be undead. Or a mummy. Demonic. Reptilian. A leopard. Or tiger. A lion. A fox. Yeah, we got the furries. <laughs> a wolf. A barbarian. Tattooed. Sadly, you can't go any further with these tattoos. Like, there's no option, like, have different tattoos or just one tattoo somewhere. Like, not unless maybe in the future, maybe they'll have more skins of different tattoos or something. Angry face. Cheerful. Wise. There's a good way to just say you got a, a elderly character. Maybe not too elderly, but you know, it's a good choice of words. Wise. Youthful. Look at that. This person got freckles because they're young. Uh, the skin I want it's not here because you can actually get more skins as you play on the game. But, um... Just put robot for now. This is gonna be an action figure, so... I'm choosing hair. <coughs> I probably don't even have the, the hair I was gonna use. Put that for now. Head styles. Go with the mask. Uh, why are the eyes like that? That's weird. It's probably a glitch. Open mouth piece if you want. The headpiece that I'm looking for, I don't believe they have it here. I'll have to, like, look for something in-game. this one for the idea I have. Oh, no. Uh, skull head. No, I'll just use the mage's hood. for the face. It's a little hard to see the, the front because the, um, the skin is bright shiny. Middle mouth. Monocle. You can also form leagues if you like with a bunch of other players. Or you could just not do that and you could just meet up with people and stuff. But um, yeah, it's encouraged to just, you know, try to make friends, you know, like with like mind people. You know, it really helps if people more helpful and respectful for other people but you know obviously it's an online game and you know like the internet there's gonna be people that just love to get people riled up and do a pointless argument 
just for them to spend hours and hours arguing in a chat and not actually playing the game. So I love when they added um, ignore feature. You could just block people. Because, you know, there's those people that just like to message people over and over or invite them over and over. And it won't take no for an answer until you log off and then they laugh like I got them to log off like it's a lot of people that waste other people's time I'm really glad that that ignore button was a thing well that's that's that way in almost every online game and people would try to abuse certain things make things less fun for others but those are the risks when you play online games anyway. I mostly do solo stuff. I used to have people years ago. Yep, it was years ago. But of course, inside drama that I still don't fully know about. What was the deal? You know, a lot of people he said, she said then evolving other leaguers into the matter then like two or three leagues broke up because of this unknown incident it was a real shame the crazier part was it involved a hero league and a villain league and even more crazier thing is this thing kind of went on before there was um a legit league because for the longest time, there wasn't no create your own league. You're either a hero, villain, that was it. But years went by and then there was an the option you can create your own league, but you had to have someone in a group with you. And then if there were you, whoever they were, it didn't matter. As long as you made a group, someone's with you, and then you're allowed to create a league. Then you name the league and hope for the best. People will just meet up and do stuff. That's the thing. There's a lot of good people out there, good players out there. But my thing was like, I wouldn't just join any league if I really did not like the name of the league. Like some of them will have like X, 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 X. The fun house. I'm like, uh. Nah. <laughs> like, whatever character I'm using, like, this is just me, though. Like, I want my character to match what league he or she is gonna be joining in. And some people just put, like, a name of a show, and I'm like, everyone in the league has nothing to do with the show, so I'm like, what's the point of that league? And then bases. Bases was the thing introduced years after that. Because people would just hang out in uh, for heroes, the watchtower, or the police stations. Villains, nightclubs, or the Legion of Doom. And that was like basically the hangouts for every side to do. And it got to a point where people were like claiming spots as their headquarters like on top of a building somewhere or a secluded uh, alleyway somewhere and then there was another feature that was added called duels like uh, heroes can duel other heroes and villains other villains because there was a there is a pvp and a pve mode you could be in either one of those worlds where you can fight off um, the opposite sides randomly throughout the open world and that's fun for a time until someone like extremely high level than you or has better gear they come in and then they just uh, end you then you constantly can't do your missions if it's in the open world because they're constantly coming back to get you but then that's when you're supposed to call help for other heroes to come in have them take care of them so you can finish your mission. But then that's why we got different uh, 
versions of the world, the PvP world and the PvE world. I don't think there's that much PvP going on because there is like, um, there's places that you can go to enjoy your, your games and you can go up against other players in these um, alerts, duels, and the, the, there was too many people complaining about the PvP stuff and eventually the devs just, I, I from what I understand, they're not supporting it anymore. I think I'll just leave the... So I'm gonna make the character very simple. But I'll, I'll take this outfit with him. I wonder if it will work that way to share it with the other characters. Because as long as your character got an outfit and if you have another character, they can actually have that style. Even though they didn't had it before. Rounded cape, short cape, split, stripe, tattered, backpack, quiver, small bird wings, small demonic wings, small tech wings. See, there's a lot of options here. Obviously, there's a lot more you can get, but that's when you're in-game and you do missions. It's not the cape I want, but I'll set up with the cape that I want when I'm in-game, because I got a lot of characters and they unlock a lot of styles. And if you make a new ca character, you just got a whole lot more options you can put on them. Cuffed. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna end up using that one. I'm planning on having like a belt or anything, but I'm going with none, but um, take a belt with me. <laughs> it's so simple. That's the one I was gonna use. Oh, what if it? No, it's this one. This matches the the top one. No, what's with this one? I forgot what I had in mind. I think it was this one I was going to use, but... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, just go with that. Mm -hmm. 